So today is Mother's Day. Uh, for all of us who are here at the Abbey, I don't think we have any mothers. Um, but we have mothers, and everybody has mothers. And uh, in Buddhism, you know, we always speak of the kindness of our mothers. And sometimes people in the West have trouble with that. Ever since Freud, we uh, think it's okay to blame our parents for all of our problems. But what really helped me, um, you know, in, in my relationship with my parents was thinking that uh, they and all other sentient beings have been my parents in previous lives. Yeah. And not only that, but to get beyond just the, the picky things I didn't like at this life, you know, that happened in this life, and really see uh, the kindness of my parents simply for giving me this body with which I can, I can use as a basis uh, for Dharma practice. And if nothing else, that alone is reason to, to really see their kindness. Yeah. Because if they didn't, um, you know, conceive us, and if our mom didn't carry us to term, then we wouldn't have this life and everything good that we're doing on the basis of this precious human life would not have happened. Yeah. And so just concentrating on that one thing alone, it, we really see the tremendous kindness of our mother, you know. On Father's Day, we'll talk about our father, but we're not excluding fathers here. We're being gender equal. But, uh, yeah, but on Mother's Day, we're talking about mothers. Um, and then just, the you know, the fact that uh, they, as my mom used to remind me, kept me, they kept us from killing ourselves. Yeah. For how many things did we do as infants and toddlers that were incredibly dangerous? And if our parents hadn't swept in at the last moment, um, we would have been dead by now. I remember one time at Tushita uh, with Lama Osa when he was only about this big, maybe not even two years old, and uh, he swallowed something and was choking. And all the monks and nuns, I, I walked by, and all the monks and nuns were like, what do we do? What do we do? You know, because nobody had kids. And his mom, Maria, walked by, picked him up by the legs, held him upside down, whacked him on the bottom, put him down, and kept going. You know, because he was the fourth or fifth kid. She knew exactly what to do, and she saved his life and didn't think, you know, anything about it. Yeah. And so to think about that kind of kindness, and even if it wasn't our parents who brought us up, if it was grandparents or foster parents or who knows who, still, you know, they kept us alive in those years. And they taught us how uh, to speak and, you know, to conduct ourselves with other people. And when you really think of it, you know, there was a lot of just basic socialization skills that we had to learn as we were growing up. Otherwise, there's no way we would get along with other people. And it was basically our parents, you know, and our teachers uh, who taught us these very fundamental skills, you know, on top of everything else they did, you know. And so, uh, you know, to appreciate that kindness. And instead of focusing on what we didn't like in our childhood, to focus on kindness with all that, to focus on the kindness that we did receive and uh, really treasure that and seeing that all sentient beings have extended that same kind of kindness to us when they were our parents uh, and specifically our mothers in previous lives, then wanting to repay the kindness of all sentient beings. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a very deep meditation, especially if we have 
a lot of things from our own childhood to work out. This meditation is uh, very uh, profound in helping us, I think, overcome a lot of that. At least it helped me a lot. So, so happy Mother's Day to all of you who are not mothers, <laughs> who have been my mothers. <laughs>